to show you how to fix this wallpaper after you've damaged it. <clears throat> now, this hasn't been on long, it's still a bit wet, but sometimes paper can get damaged when it's like that, or after it's been on for a week or two and it's dried. You might <clears throat> have somebody in doing some work, or someone just moves past it with a bag on the shoulder or something like that. Uh, and they damage it, so I'll just damage it. Now, sometimes when it's still wet, if you're really lucky and depending on the paper, you can actually fix it. You can wipe it back and find the knife's edge and make sure it's all in line and you won't be able to see it. Um, but if we say that's not there and there's a nice bit of damage to it some papers what you can do is taking another piece of paper and finding exactly where the, uh, the same pattern is you can cut a patch out so, I know I've got that bit there. What I'm going to try and go for is that whole square. And you cut it out, and if you need it off, you can follow the pattern around. Now I've got a patch. <clears throat> oh no, it's the right pattern, and uh, it all lines up and matches correctly. So then, what you can do is you pop it in a bucket of water. Now I'm going to leave that soaking in there for about ten minutes. So this patch has been soaking now for about 10 minutes. Um, what you need to do is on the back of it, in the centre, just start rubbing with your finger. And what you'll find is the backing starts coming off. Now, the reason I do it in the centre is because it doesn't damage the edge of the paper. Stuck down, come here. So, when you've got a little bit off in the center, you'll find it'll peel off. Now, it's not easy, and it'll take a while. There we go, not done too bad at all that. A little bit left there. <coughs> right, 
lines. So then once you've done that, what you want to do is using some overlap adhesive, not paste, especially on vinyl to vinyl. You want to put some overlap adhesive on the area. Now make sure you go a little bit over the area of what you're going to put it on so we always, all the edges stick properly. There's a hair in the brush coming out there. You don't need loads of. You want to be quite accurate with this straight away because it can sometimes stick very easily. Make sure you spread the any bubbles out from underneath. And using a damp cloth, just wipe off the paste from around the the uh, adhesive from around the area. Now you don't want to play around with it too much because you can start working the pattern up. And there you go. No more damage.